What's going on guys? Sean is here back with another video. Guys, this is a kid's haircut fading from top to bottom. Make it super easy for you guys. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into this cut. It's a kid's cut. I wanted to show you guys a technique that I use to cut kids that are difficult and move around a lot. We're gonna fade down instead of fading up, so this is pretty different for me. This is how I cut his hair every time, and it definitely works out much easier. You know, you put guidelines in and things like that, definitely tougher to do on kids. So I'm gonna show you guys my fading down technique. So we're gonna start off with a number two. It's all the way closed. We're gonna go against the grain, and we're just gonna flick out at the parietal ridge into the top of the head. I'm gonna go ahead and cut down most of this. We don't have to cut down the whole side because we are gonna fade down. We wanna try not to cut hair multiple times. So we're gonna go through the ridge and connect to the top and then we'll come directly under that and start with our next guard. All right, so after that, we'll come in with our one and a half. Same steps as always, guys, we're just gonna do them backwards. So we're gonna come in with the one and a half. We're trying to cut into that two guard without seeing a visible line. And this is what makes it so hard fading down. You're not gonna have any guidelines. So you have to know where you just went. You're gonna take that guard into the guard above it without leaving a guideline. And then we'll work our way back down. And you guys can see, he's trying to watch the TV. Of course, I'm trying to film it. That's definitely harder than normal. But cutting kids this age are definitely difficult because they want to look around, they want to move their head. So we're going to fade down. It's going to make it much easier. So we did the two, then the one and a half. This is the one guard all the way open. And you can see, I'm flicking right into that one and a half area and it's not leaving a guideline. Then we'll close it up and we'll come in underneath that with the closed one. So now the clipper's closed. You can see I'm using more of a corner. I don't want to leave any dark lines in there. So we're just going to come in with the corner of the blade and work directly under where we were with the one open. Next, we'll come in with the zero guard. I'm going to start with it halfway open. That's kind of my sweet spot. So I'll come in, like I said, directly under the one closed and we'll use the zero guard halfway open. That's gonna be our next step. Then we'll move on to the open clipper. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the last step. We'll do our open clipper, then we'll close it halfway and then closed all the way. So you guys see, we're just working down. We're not gonna see any guidelines. I just have to pay attention to where I just worked with the zero guard. I'm gonna come in with the clipper all the way open and cut into that zero guard. Then we'll close it halfway and cut into where we cut with it all the way open. So it's just the reverse from our normal steps. And the reason we wanna fade down is just on a kid this age, it's just difficult to put in your guidelines and really work while they're moving around everywhere. So this is much easier, quite a bit faster than normal. Uh, but it is a little bit more all over the place. So I've done this a lot on him. I've gotten pretty good at it. I still don't recommend fading down. Personally, it's it's just uh, more all over the place for me. Uh, but you guys can see we're getting a decent finished product. So now the clipper is halfway closed and I'm coming into that open clipper. Then we'll close it up and we'll take off all the hair at the bottom. All right, so now we'll come in with the slim line to get it all the way down to bald. I'm not gonna use a shaver on him. You guys can see this is gonna get it plenty short enough for a bald fade. So I'll just come in with the trimmer, and again, we're just flicking into the closed clipper. If you guys ever do that and you see a little bit of a line, you can just come back in with your closed clipper and work that line out. But now we've basically done our steps from top to bottom instead of bottom to top. And you guys can see that was much easier and much quicker. So now we'll go in on this side. We're gonna go ahead and do the same steps. We'll start with our number two and work our way down. 
and this guy's one of my favorite little kids that I cut. You guys know a lot of kids don't like haircuts. When he walks in the door, I tried it one time, I just said, are you ready? And I kind of put my arms out, and he took off running across the barber shop, jumped up in my arms, and I threw him up in the chair. And uh, he definitely loves getting his haircut. So you see we added a sucker for this side. He was ready for his sucker. He was doing well, of course. I explained to him when we started that I'm gonna put it on camera, and I needed him to sit really still and keep his head where it was. So he was doing so well, went ahead and gave him a sucker. And guys, that's kind of a topic that we talk about sometimes, you know, reward kids with a sucker. Sometimes you gotta do it in the middle of the haircut to get the haircut done. But definitely if they're acting a fool, you don't wanna give them a sucker because they don't need to get that reward. Uh, you know, you wanna make sure they understand if they sit well, you give them a sucker at the end and that really will help you out with kids that don't wanna sit well. So you guys can see we're fading down again. We're to our one guard now. It's all the way closed. And now we're gonna come in with our half guard, the zero for the Andis guard. And we're just gonna blend right into that one guard closed. I hope this makes sense to you guys. The reason this is so risky is because you really have no guidelines. So you really have to be able to see what you're working with uh, and work your way down, where the reason the guidelines help, especially for beginners, is it helps you really maintain the shape of the fade. So, but you guys can see this is much quicker of a method, uh, but really it was a long time before I was able to do this type of a haircut fading down. So definitely not a skin fade. Uh, you can just easily get all over the place and kind of lose the sharpness of your fade. You guys can see there, now I'm just playing with my lever through that open section and making sure we have a nice transition down to the ball. Now we'll come up with the slim lines and we'll clean the rest of that hair out. And guys, once you establish this, you can treat it just like a normal fade. So if you have to go back up and touch it up, you know we did a two at the top and it's skin at the bottom, so you can work your way back down and go through it again, you know, until you're happy with the blend. But uh, I'll probably go ahead and finish this whole haircut, then come through one more pass. I don't think I showed that. Yeah, you can see we're gonna go ahead and cut the top. Uh, but just work your way through it a second time and make sure you have it nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and take about an inch off. We just wanna trim the, the end of the curl here. It's gonna curl back up, but his dad doesn't like it too long. So we're just gonna take about an inch off all over, uh, curl it back up, and then we'll do the edge up. a slight cross check we're gonna do some horizontal sections especially at the front I want to make sure it's short enough uh, and he's not gonna have a bunch of curl at the front so we'll clean up the sides a little bit where it connects you guys know it's gonna curl back up so we don't really have to make this flawless we're gonna just kind of count on it curling back up and of course him moving it's a little bit difficult to do uh, shear over comb or cliver over comb so now we're going to the edge up you guys just want to be real careful you guys are gonna see he is gonna be all over the place this is a young kid I think he's probably almost three years old at this point but uh, you just gotta work with it little by little. So I'm just gonna go in. These are very sharp trimmers, so I'm gonna be real careful. I may even switch at some point, but you guys just take a couple licks, get the line straight, let him move a little bit. Uh, you know, he wants to look around and see what's going on. So I went ahead and adjusted and came over to the vertical bar while he was turned that way. And then we'll let him move around and we'll just kind of work with him as he moves. Of course, I'm telling him, hey, sit straight so I can get this as the last part uh, and just trying to get him to stay straight. But I'm going to go ahead and work with him. I'm going to move to the other side so that he can look where he wants to look. And he's extra fidgety right now. You're going to see here in a minute. Uh, you know, I don't have kids myself, guys, so I don't really know how to read them. Uh, but after a while, I could tell he was fidgeting. And I said, you got to go to the bathroom. And then I smelt it. He definitely needed to go to the bathroom. So we're going to get his lineup done. We're going to let him go to the bathroom and then we'll get the finished product. Yeah, he's struggling. You guys can see it. He got to go. <laughs> I think I just asked him too. You got to poop? Yep. <laughs>
All right, we're gonna let my man go to the bathroom real quick. And then when he gets back, we will check out the finished product. All right, guys, there it is, finished product. I hope you guys like this cut. I hope it makes sense fading down and why it makes it a little bit easier. If you guys liked it, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If he ain't the cutest kid ever, let me know about it. And I'll catch you guys next time.